I'm set up in the southeast corner of Coles. And they're going for the emergency exit. The hey, they exit. just emer exited the emergency exit southeast side. Walk in southbound Port Plaza Parkway. Organized retail theft is where you have professional groups, typically two or more people, going into retail stores. Uh, these are the folks that are committing smash and grabs, uh, shoplifting. Those are the two common offenses that we see. Taking the product, uh, not paying for it, and then once they exit the store, they have large amounts of quantity uh, of these products, whether it be Nike, uh, typically higher end uh, clothing products. Businesses uh, can face anywhere from 100000 to $5 million in loss per year. Um, we've seen it over the past several years, we've seen it increase, which is why we're trying to take a proactive approach. They act fast, they're, they're very aggressive in what they do and their approach. They'll go inside of the store, clearing shelves within one to two minutes. Uh, they flee out of the store and then the retailers are reporting to law enforcement what exactly had occurred. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court. Mission of the, the right task force, uh, obviously we want to have uh, a thriving community, create a safe environment for our, our citizens to shop, um, and we want to stop the rapid increase uh, that we're seeing in organized retail theft. When we capture these individuals, they, they all go to jail. There's no, there's no citing, there's no releasing. Uh, typically they're going to be charged with shoplifting, uh, organized retail theft, uh, conspiracy, uh, things of that nature. Most of them are in possession of drugs. We've caught uh, suspects in possession of uh, dangerous weapons. While uh, working with these retailers, we actually identified a organized retail theft crew that had committed a uh, violent offense at a local retailer up by the mall. Uh, we were able to coordinate um, and successfully take them into custody. District Attorney's Office has uh, stood up an organized retail theft unit and we're working closely with the Modesto Police Department. Uh, this issue of organized retail theft has become one of the central issues in our community. It's devastating uh, businesses, it's shutting down uh, businesses, especially in underserved areas. You know, some of these smaller businesses, community businesses that we have, cannot absorb those types of losses like a major corporation. There is a perception among uh, thieves that we keep seeing is when they steal in the Modesto and Stanislaus County area, they're surprised that they're being booked by the Modesto Police Department. They're getting charged with felonies, and they're seeing the district attorney's office uh, try to put them either in prison or give them extended uh, jail terms. We need to protect those businesses, and, and our combined efforts with the Modesto Police Department, I think that's exactly what we're doing. We're out there working these operations to make our community safe and to protect our business community. We want families to feel safe to go shopping and to enjoy what Modesto has to offer. We take a zero tolerance stance on those that want to come to our town and steal uh, or victimize our community. If you come to Modesto and steal, it will not be tolerated, you will be arrested and you will be prosecuted. We want Modesto to continue to thrive and we couldn't do it without the support of our local businesses, so thank you.